Hello everyone, welcome to Apollo 24-7's YouTube channel. Today we are in Apollo Hospitals, Kolkata in conversation with Dr. Tirthankar Chaudhary who will talk about diabetes. Oh, good afternoon. I have been asked to talk about diabetes. Let me tell you one of few things that you know that diabetes in this country is about 74 million people approximately. Therefore, the question comes, how do we prevent it? Or is there any symptom? Remember that when diabetes comes to us, many times it is asymptomatic. That is very important. So how do we check? How do you know that I've got diabetes? One of the things is that if you get some symptoms like fatigue, or if you get increased thirst, or you are passing more urine, or if you think that your wounds are not healing, or if you find that you have got more infection in your genitals, then it is very important that you check sugar. The other thing is that if you are over 40, you are obese and you have got type 2 diabetes at home, I think it would be a good idea to check your sugar because it is in epidemic proportion in this country and for that matter globally. Second thing that people ask me often is that once I've got diabetes, can I reverse it? I think reversal has the connotation of cure. Therefore, what I would like to say is about remission of diabetes. Now, there are some studies have been done, a counterpoint study, look ahead study, direct study that have shown that it is possible to have partial or complete remission of diabetes. But there are some caveat to it. Remember that diabetes can be undergone to remission. They are further divided into partial and complete. So I'm not going to details of that, but what is important is that if you restrict your calorie and if you are able to reduce your weight and if you are on early days of diabetes, then it is possible to get back to normal glycemia or normal blood sugar without tablets. But it also depends on many other factors, including genetic, etc. Therefore, if I tell you in a sweeping statement that you can reverse your diabetes, that would be an overstatement. But whatever stage of diabetes you are, if you can reduce your weight, remember a lot you can do about the diabetes remission. I'll give you a, just a very good example. Like say the World War I, when the food was scarce, the prevalence and incidence of diabetes reduced by 50%. We have got some of the ways to understand whether you have remission. Say the bariatric surgery. Bariatric surgery has shown there are two types of bariatric surgery. As you know, one is Rowan Y gastric bypass and one is sleeve resection. In the more major one, Rowan Y gastric bypass, it is shown that at the five year time, there is remission for 45% of patients. If you look at the gastric sleeve resection, there is almost 30% remission by five years. There is some direct studies done without going into operation in UK primary care, but they gave very strict diet control of 800 kilocalories. And what they also did is they did behavioral therapy. And what they found is that around 10 to 12% remission in that study in four to five years. But that's very difficult to maintain. Therefore, my suggestion is whatever stage of diabetes you are, try to reduce weight because any amount of weight reduction will help. Now, the other question that I often get if I'm on insulin, can I get back to normal without insulin? Now, see, this is a very interesting question because if you are on insulin because of an operation, infection, infarction, like heart attack and things, it is possible to go back. Or pregnancy, you can go back to your normal. But if you are on insulin because your oral tablets have failed or that we have used maximum amount of tablets, but your blood sugar is not under control, then if I have given you insulin, then that insulin cannot be reversed. My caveat to you is that insulin is not bad. It is, do not have any prejudice against usage of insulin because insulin deficiency is one of the most important causes of diabetes. Therefore, do not get scared of insulin. It is very easy and keep you well. Another thing that comes in our practice every day is we are getting younger and younger patients who are diabetic. Why is this happening? The main, main issue is 
that there is a fundamental change in the lifestyle. If you look at the way our children eat now is very different from what we used to have in our childhood. Physical activity has come down. So higher BMI or obesity has entered childhood. This is the most important reason why our children are getting or our when they grow up and become adult, they develop diabetes. We are getting younger children with genetic predisposition and adult type of type 2 diabetes. It is very important that we develop a very healthy lifestyle at all stages of life. And I think it should begin in the school. I think what the family and society as a whole has to take responsibility about what we eat. Our schools should not serve in their school fried food and processed food. They should go for hot lunch for the children in the school. We have done a kids project where we have said this and many schools have taken this over and they serve hot lunch. It is very important that our children play. They do physical activity and they take increasing amount of fruits and vegetables if we want to keep them healthy and prevent obesity and in later stages, more diabetes. Thank you very much. For consulting an Apollo expert, download Apollo 24-7 app or you can check out the link in the description below.